I'm a cynic by nature, so I don't want to get my hopes up, but my hopes are starting to creep up about this New York governor's race, and I'm having a hard time pulling them back down. Bring me back to reality. Is Lee Zeldin going to win? He has an incredibly awesome shot to win. I'll put it to you that way. I mean, uh, let's just say, um, you know, I'm, I know that I'm just quoting the polls here. It's 50-50, but let's just get into some more uh, micro numbers here. He needs at least 30% support from New York City, uh, along with some pretty decent margins in the, uh, in the suburbs of New York, which includes Westchester County, Rockland County, as well as good turnout in the upstate regions of uh, New York State. Now, I'm a native New Yorker, even though I live in the DC area, uh, I do know New York very, very well. Uh, what uh, what Zeldin has done is that he has looked for a lot of support from the uh, smaller areas of, uh, or rather the smaller communities within all of these uh, 62 counties of New York. So he's looked for the Jewish communities, like the Hasids, the Orthodox Jews, as well as a number of the business communities, the Asian communities, a lot of the business communities who feel like they are being, you know, hurt by the crime in New York. Also, the 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 the, uh, the economy that is absolutely terrible in New York, the property taxes. So, you know, he has been hitting a lot of the smaller communities that Kathy Hochul has really ignored. So this is something that has been ongoing for over a year, and he has been campaigning all over 62 counties, which, look, the Democrats thought that they were going to coast into this election for the longest time. And mind you, they've had some problems. Remember, Andrew Cuomo, you know, he had to uh, resign last year in scandal, and then Kathy Hochul jumped into this seat and uh, they pretty much expected that she was just going to you know, win a full term. And now they realized that uh, things could very well shake up because they haven't had a Republican governor since uh, George Pataki in the last 20 years. OK, why? Now, I know Lee's running a good campaign. We've had him on the show a bunch and I love the guy. I'm not not insulting Lee, but if you're going to win in New York, it's going to take more than a good Republican race. You need a problem with the Democrat. I'm not in New York. I just know what I see from afar. What's their problem with Kathy Hochul? Kathy Hochul, unlike uh, Andrew Cuomo, does not come from a powerful New York family. She doesn't have the name like Andrew Cuomo had. Remember, Andrew Cuomo's father was Mario Cuomo. Mario Cuomo, uh, he was a beloved, uh, you know, Figure. Granted, he was you know, he was a huge liberal, but but still he was a powerful speaker, uh, and you know he ended up he was the one who ended up losing to uh, Republican George Pataki eventually for a third term in 1994. But still, um, when Andrew Cuomo was elected in uh, uh, in uh, 2006, uh, he was able to. Uh, <laughs> threaten, intimidate, and he kind of had the swagger. Uh, and when he ended up going down in, in, in scandal, when Kathy Hochul came around, uh, sure, she was a Democrat, she had the right views, she had the right stances, but she didn't have, uh, shall we say, the intimidation factor, the uh, threatening factor, as well as, uh, shall we say, the 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 name factor that Andrew Cuomo had, and along with that, she just doesn't she, she just isn't a retail politicker. She's from Buffalo, New York, and actually even she's from outside of Buffalo. She's from a small town there. She only served a very small term in a in a Congress, so she's not very well known. So she's having a very tough time connecting with uh, New Yorkers. Lee Zeldin. Um, he wasn't well known either, but he has the crime issue on his side. And New Yorkers, uh, granted, while they are inherently uh, you know, more more Democrat, and they certainly uh, outnumber Republicans, you know, pra practically three to one. Uh, they still want to be safe. And this year looks like a wave year. Don't miss Jesse Kelly Breaks History, The Forgotten Genocide, the first episode of a new series available now exclusively for First TV supporters. Visit the First TV app or thefirsttv.com to subscribe and start watching today.